Hello everybody, this is Etho, and once again we are in this nether fortress. So, uh, after last episode I got a lot of comments saying that wither skeletons would be able to spawn in this older fortress. Um, so I came back here, ran around it for a long time looking for them, didn't find any. Then I started tearing down the walls uh, in between the corridors and increasing the spawn area also making it easier to see if they spawn and after a long long time I saw hundreds of these guys spawn the zombie pigmen and I even saw some magma cubes spawn in here but no wither skeletons and no blazes none so I went back to the fortress we found last time the newly generated one in the snapshot and None to be found there either. So, did some more research. A lot of people linked me to a video by, I think, Cabo is his name, which I'll put in the description. Hopefully I remember. And he basically, I think he made like a mod for the game that shows what spawns in the nether, depending on where he's standing. And when he newly generates a fortress, Blazes and Wither Skeletons can spawn, but once he unloads it, like if he leaves the game and comes back, um, it's like the extra data for the fortress doesn't save, like the bounding box information and that doesn't save, so the fortress becomes kind of dead for spawning Blaze and Wither Skeletons. So, that is a big bug, and until it's fixed, there's not really any good way of of uh, getting the wither skulls and I would recommend you don't um, go exploring in the nether too far just in case if when they do fix it they don't fix or they don't um, aren't able to fix the fortresses you've already found um, they might be able to but just in case they don't you might not want to go too far because there's a chance I wrecked that fortress I found last time um, something else I found while at in the nether here for a long time. Uh, mob counts have changed quite a bit. I don't know when that happened. But if you look up here at the E, the first number is how many are, are within view in the direction you're facing. Um, the second number is total. And that is down to about 41. It stays around the 40s, sometimes even in the 30s. Uh, in the in the other world, the real world, the mob count is 79. It can go over that, but 79 is sort of where it's, they stop spawning. And in here, it seems to be about half that, so I don't know when that changed, but mob count is much lower in the nether than it used to be. Oh, and just to clarify, I should have said this, but the the E up there isn't just for mobs. It's, it's total entities, so mobs count as an entity, so do a lot of other things like like these. If I throw one of these it goes up by one every time. Uh, but in my nether I'm gonna do, gonna do this just to show you. In my nether I don't really have any entities. It's two two entities total if uh, mobs are off. So if they're on it goes up to about 40 or so. so that's That's about what the mob count is I would say. Okay, everybody, we are at the stronghold right now, and I want to spend some time on these projects today because they've been sort of neglected lately and they're not getting done. Uh, this silverfish farm, it still works really, really well. It does exactly what I want it to. Uh, my problem is, though, I have it off most of the time because it's been full. It keeps filling up, and I have no real proper way of dealing with the guys yet which I really should because I've had this thing built for so long. Um, like we've tried, we've tried things. We've built the terminal over here to get them to the surface and then we can move them where we want. But as you've seen there's problems with that. They, they attack me like crazy and on the way I lose them whenever I have to cross water or if they run into cactus or if I go um, uphill and stuff is when I lose a lot of guys. So I've concluded that 
moving them on the surface is not going to work. The longer or the further I move them at, on the surface, the more I lose. And by the time I get to my destination, they're usually all gone. So my new plan is to set up tunnels uh, wherever I want to take them underground on flat land like this. And I'm digging this at Y12. So on the way, I get lots of redstone and other goodies. Um, I've started lining this with soil at the bottom. I just because it's it's a cheap resource and it doesn't burn because I'm passing really close to lava so I can't really use wood or leaves or anything so I may um, ooh, kinda lost my voice there I may do the whole tunnel soil all around or at the very least I need to go up to here because if they jump, they can get into these blocks still. And I don't want them chewing up my tunnel after I've built it. Ooh. And this is about where I left off. So this, I'm taking them to that desert. Which is quite a ways. So I'm going to keep working at this. And I may plant grass in the soil to make it look better. If I had mycelium, I would probably use that instead but I don't. Still haven't found a mushroom biome. Actually, you know what? It just occurred to me what I should really be using is these or some other type of slab because I don't want slime spawning in that tunnel. It'll lower my mob rates if, I, if they are and I really won't be able to control that unless I use these. Ah. <laughs> too little, too late. Now I gotta rip this all out. But yeah. And the nice thing is they're they're bright, they're white. Yeah, that'll be much better. In fact, I just I also thought of this. I might want to do something like this too, where I have stairs here for the walls. If I do this and then that, even though it might not look the greatest, uh, that will sort of widen this by an extra block without having to do any more work because I get half a block on this side, half a block on that side. Is it bad? Yeah, it is bad. <laughs> you get the lighting glitch. Mm, it might be worth it though. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, how can I fix that? I think I'd have to dig a lot more to fix that. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm going to keep the lighting glitch in. I finished half slabbing up this tunnel, and as I was doing that, I was getting rid of the torches, and it was all dark in here, and I thought, hey, you know what? Maybe I should try something like this, have lighting go through the stairs and just get the the visual lighting, the ambient cheaty lighting like this. That could be pretty cool, but maybe, like I tried to check our pattern here, maybe we should do something different though. Like maybe just make it solid. That would be easier actually to... Kind of like that. Maybe change that too. See what it looks like if the stairs are all all lit up. It, this is really cheap for me because I got lots of cobble and I don't mind using it. While dirt is a little bit more rare for me. And obviously I don't want to use things like sandstone or anything like that because this is a pretty grunt project. And even this is probably more time than I should be spending on it but yeah that could be cool have that on both sides and maybe some lighting in the top too, the top corners this is pretty wild too if I do it like this Ooh. <laughs> that's cool uh, quite a bit of extra work though and I think to do it properly uh, would make it even more work 
because I can't just do it like this. If I do it like this, I think we'll get slime spawning in here. Uh, so to do it properly, I would either have to put torches underneath like that, and then like half slabs uh, over here to prevent the slimes from spawning. And then I could have torches up higher. Oh no, it doesn't work if the torch is underneath. Hmm. So I think the only way to properly do it is either to have torches all the way along. I think that will prevent slimes from spawning. Or have lava at the bottom of this. Which would be a bit of work. <laughs> um, hmm. This is pretty cool. I think what I'll do first is just get it up and working with the lighting glitch and then if people like like it like this I'll go through here spend a little more time and just make it nice like this too check it out man I found a zombie with a shovel there's one with gold armor there too I don't know if you can get the items they have though no I didn't get it I'm not sure if it's like a rare drop or if you just can't get it at all but from the guys I found with stuff on or with special items, I've never gotten anything from them yet. Ooh, he's pretty tough. Yeah, nothing. Found my dog too. He hasn't. Whoa! <laughs> he doesn't have his uh, collar on anymore. I know you can dye them, but I guess by default they might not have a collar anymore. Or something, I'm not sure. Got a bow. And it's damaged. Huh. Weird. Hmm. What if... You know what? Let's try this. I got a flower here. We're going to give him... Oh, I guess we're going to give him a yellow collar. Nope, maybe not. Right click doesn't do it. That doesn't do it. Huh. Not really sure how to dye the collar. Jump. There you go. Hmm. Ah, I feel kind of like an idiot right now. I just realized really late into this that I should just be using nether portals to move them. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it. Why didn't I think of that before? I'm, I'm still not used to all the new features. And I like just, just about finished. Oh, dang. <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh my goodness. Go, 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 go. Oh man, this is like, this is some crazy stuff. <laughs> That was awesome. Um, yeah, I should really just be using nether portals. And then I can move them up and down vertically really easy too. Hmm. So after after we finish, I'm just going to finish blowing this out since it's all ready anyway. Uh, but after, after I do this, I'm going to try to set up a nether portal for them and just see what happens when I try to get them through it. So I will be right back. Alright, so we're just going to do a rough test of this. Instead of having the terminal here, we're going to have them go straight into a portal, um, which, we can tr bleh, which we can control with this lever. When that's open, they'll go right through here. And then we'll put blocks behind it so they can't get through. I'm not sure if they can or not. Um, if we go through, I just want to see where it'll take us. Okay, it takes us to this one. So I'm going to make a second portal in here and see if we can separate them. I just got to figure out the coordinates and stuff. Whoa. Okay, we're here. 
Well, I tried making a portal in the ceiling, but I forgot that won't work because I always get sent to this one. It's closer than than that one because it's way up high. Um, so my second portal, or my silverfish portal, is going to go here, right here. I've got to figure it out, and I might have to use this as my main portal for a while also, or forever perhaps even because it's tough to have two portals together like this. If I go through here, I'll probably get sent back through the other one there anyhow. Okay, it took us out here like we want. If we go through this, though, where is it going to take us? Okay, it sent us here. Now let's try go through the other portal we have in the stronghold. It's about eight blocks away in the nether. Oh, portal stuff confuses me sometimes. Such a nightmare working it out. Okay, so if we go through the portal up here, let's just see where this is going to take us. I built the new second portal down at Y65. Yeah, it took us here. That's okay. This is alright. Oh, actually, you know what I'm going to do now? For the silverfish, I'm going to have a one block drop. Like this. Like a little catcher cage for them. Let's see how that works out. Um, I'm going to get a ladder in here for me, though. Or something. I, actually, I'll just use ender pearls for the test. Okay, so, <laughs> how how's this going to work? I've never transported mobs through the nether before. So, let's head on up here. Oop. Get some f silverfish going. Actually, I'm just going to go inside the room. I don't want too many. Just want to try this out. Hey. Um, uh, that's probably enough. Snowmen are going to make them keep spawning, though. Okay, come on. <laughs> Good. Uh, let's put the blocks behind, just in case we need them. So now when I open this, they should go through. Should go through. Do they only go one at a time? Um, oh man, that's going to take a while. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. Oh man. Dude, what is going on? <laughs> Single player is so buggy. Can you not transport mobs? What is... That was my impression. How many are left? There's still a ton left. Um. Oh, nothing is going right today. Are they coming back? They shouldn't be able to come back. I don't know. What the heck? What you guys doing? Do I need to use water or something? Whoa, whoa! <laughs> um, okay. I'm going through, if I can. I want to see what happens. Are there any here? There's a few here. There's one here. <laughs> Two here. Um, right. So I think I have to use water somehow make this work properly. Man, that's weird. It's so glitchy. Alright, you guys die now. Actually, I better, I better kill them a long ways away. 
I'm gonna go to creative mode and just fiddle with this a bit. Yeah, definitely works a lot better if you have water. Like, even under a heavy load. They'll go through like they're supposed to. I don't know what was going on before. It's like they were coming back or something weird. They do glitch really strange. But they do go. One by one. And if we go through... There they are. They freeze for a bit for some reason. I don't know what that's about. It's 46. And then there they go. So the next thing i got to figure out is how to get them from the nether to the overworld because we can't use water here. So I'm going to mess with that next. I'm not really sure wh why mine didn't work. It seems to work here. It's glitchy, but it works. Like I'm, I'm in survival right now. They're not coming through the other side like they did in mine. Um, still going one by one. Where are we at? They're just about all through, and they're all through. If I go through myself, it seems to be safe. Yep, I made a little catcher down below. So I don't know what the deal is with my survival world, or my LP world, I should say. If this one works, mine should work too. Yeah, this is weird stuff. I heard a bunch of silverfish, and I found them trapped in this block, like, in where the redstone is there. How they got into that, I have no idea. I think maybe what it is is I have to make the opening to the portal two wide instead of one wide. That could be it. And we move on to round two. So I'm just going to try this a few more times. Oh, get out of here, boy. Just a few more guys. Um this time I've made it too wide and if this works we'll we'll fix it up nicer yeah that might be the problem oh no no they're glitching through they did it what the heck man <laughs> what why is it different here hmm This is the third and final round. I, th I say that because I'm 90% sure I got figured out this time. Yeah, that should do. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Don't knock me in. Thank you. Okay, silver fish are down, and they go through. Go through. Not to me. What are you doing? Stop. Stop. Nope. What the heck? Oh, I had it. I'm sure I had it. I don't understand it. Oh, oh! I'm, they're going to kill me, aren't they? What are they doing to me? What is going on? <laughs> oh, and I never made a safe place. Um, right. So I thought the problem was is I had blocks on the other side of the portal. I removed those, and it still doesn't work. So I am totally stumped. <laughs> I don't get it. Why can't they go through? They go through in the other world we were just in. They don't go through in this one for some reason. Ah, uh, silverfish farm, man. Nothing but trouble, always. 
Nothing goes my way. Look at him. Look at him. You're going into my blocks. You're going to make a mess of things. I know they're in there. Hmm. Well, it's a bit frustrating. I wanted to get a lot done today, and I just wasted a lot of my time with these guys, and it didn't even work in the end, so hopefully we can figure out why for next time. If you know the answer, please let me know in the comments, uh, but don't just don't just venture guesses. I have lots of guesses, too. I want actual answers. Why does this not work? Um, I looked on the wiki. I didn't see much information on it, so... Hopefully somebody knows, and if not, I'll have to try to figure it out for myself. But it's really weird. It's like the it's like the portal's just not registering. Even if I go far away and they're not aggro at me anymore, they won't go through. They just can't go through for some reason. We did have like one or two go through, which is a really strange thing. So I don't know. <laughs> What's the dealio? Here's the comment I picked out for today. Hey Etho, I would just like to point out that your Media Fire World download link is broken. Dun dun dun. I would love to check out the world and it's a shame that it doesn't work. Anyway, love the videos. Thank you very much. I am going to try put up another download in the description, a newer one. I was supposed to do that last episode but I forgot so uh, the download is actually from just before I switched to the snapshot. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Mediafire keeps removing it for some reason. I don't know why or when that's going to happen again. But please, please be patient with the world downloads. They are getting quite big, close to 100 megs. So I don't do them as often anymore. But yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And thank you for watching today's episode. I'll see you guys again next time.